Hey, if you ever set goals and plan tasks around it, then you will relate to me when I tell you this. The best and the most effective way to achieve success in your goals is to overcome tiny roadblocks. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips which will help you do exactly that. Let's get started. Picture this. You're excited about the new year, so you set goals, plan tasks around it, make some lifestyle changes and get ready to get started. Everything is fine, one week, two weeks, suddenly something happens. You notice that your motivation begins to dip. The energy levels go down and slowly the excitement you had for your goals begin to wear away. I'm sure you can relate to this. What exactly do you think is the problem? One of the goals that I set for myself in 2020 was to wake up at 5 a.m. Because the world leaders are doing it and they talk about how me time with themselves is helping them become more productive. I was able to resonate with this goal because I too was struggling for me time that I value so very much. I also read about how peaceful the time is in the morning so I can get a lot of my creative stuff done. Since my family is up and about from 7 a.m., I thought I have two hours to get many things done. I was super excited. My plan went well for exactly two weeks. After that, I suffered from exhaustion. I also felt excessive post-lunch slump, which began to impact my productivity. So here's what went wrong for me. I tried to accommodate so many things in those two hours that it was practically impossible. Although I woke up at 5 a.m., my me time actually started from 5.30. After that, I took time to think about what I'm gonna write and either for my blog or the video and I actually started doing the work from 6 a.m. which made my workout as well as my meditation time to push further and because my family is up by 7 a.m. I couldn't really get these things done because there's very little space when people are walking around and there's just too much noise. This left me frustrated which impacted my sleep, which impacted my stress levels. You get the point, right? It's downward hill from there. So I fixed few things. And today, my wake up time is directly connected to my sleep time. I need a minimum of seven hours to have a restful sleep and feel productive the next day. My workout and meditation are my priority, so I do them first. And the quiet, reflective time I have helps me plan the topics for the videos and my blogs. While my family is up, I put those thoughts down two to three times in a week. Remaining time, I either play with my cats or clean and dust the house. Touch wood, this has been working well for me so far. So here's what I've done. Number one, I prioritized. If I sleep at 10, I wake up at 5. If I sleep at 10.30, I wake up at 5.30. My priority was to get seven hours of sleep, followed by my workout, meditation, and everything else. Number two, I started small. Packing too many things in a limited time left me frustrated. So I started small with one task at a time. Number three, I have plan B all the time. Distractions come, roadblocks appear from nowhere. Having plan B for everything that I do gives me an option to choose. For example, I choose to do yoga at home, but when I was out on a getaway, I switched to walking. Number four, I stopped being obsessive and being serious all the time. What I mean by that is if I skip working out today, instead of getting obsessed about it and getting into self-criticism mode, I simply control my diet a little bit more. So that means no eating junk to offset on me skipping the workout. And five, I learned to enjoy everything I do. And this is vital for achieving your goals. I used to get bored working out earlier, which means having the same workout exercise pattern the entire week. So instead, what I did was to include a lot of activities that I enjoy. So if I don't want to do yoga, no problem. I put on a music and dance that hour away. Or I have another alternative. I chase my cats up and down the house. Believe me, this is super cardio and super fun. So there you are. Those are the five tips I have for you. With just these few fixes, I was able to effectively achieve my goals. What are your thoughts on this? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.